Welcome back to episode 12. So this is going to be a little bit of a different one. Uh, the source code from today is not going to end up on the repository because I'm actually coding a virus. Like, not a virus that will damage your computer, but a virus that if you run it will delete your save invisibly. You won't even know your save's been deleted. Um, and I'm calling this the PVP episode because while PVP isn't really a thing in Bitburner, who knows, there may be somebody who makes you mad and has a Bitburner account and, well, here's something that will delete their save. Super easy to do, very hard to detect. And I, I've decided to do this because I want, I think it explains, it teaches a lot about how arrays work and how viruses work, like in the real world. Um, let's just dive into it. Ah, this is going to be fun. So, first we're going to code, like, the main virus piece of it, and then we're going to obfuscate that piece. And I'll walk you through kind of working backwards from the action you want to take to hiding that action in plain sight. So somebody who looks at the source won't be able to tell it's a virus unless they look very closely and are very experienced. So the function we want to call is indexed db delete database bitburner save. If we call this function just like this, if I was to run the script, your save would be invisibly deleted. The game wouldn't reset. Um, there would be no indication that your save was deleted until the next time you reloaded the page, you'd be back at the tutorial. Now, of course, you can export your save, and it's recommended that you do, but, you know, it can cost you five, six hours. Now, if this was hidden in some kind of really complicated script, um, people might run it and have it randomly delete their saves and have no idea why their saves were disappearing. But that's neither here nor there. Let's talk about how we're going to duplicate this function without typing the word delete database. Because that's like a red flag, right? If you, if you were to look at this line of code, you'd be like, I'm not going to run that. That, that is clearly bad. Um, whatever this does is not good. It's going to delete a database called Bitburner Safe. No bueno. But what about this? What if we were to do let's server equals ns.purchase server bitburner save two. Purchase a two gigabyte server named bitburner save. We know that purchase server returns a string called bitburner say uh, call, uh, of the host name of the server so if the user had $110,000 which almost everyone does uh, and they were to run this you would have a server with the name bitburner save now i think you can see where we're going with this it's already kind of dangerous But how do we get to the delete database? We can't just be like, <laughs> let server two equals purchase server delete database. People are going to be like, nope, not going to run that. Bitburner save is, is, you don't necessarily associate that immediately with a save file. It could be any number of things. And you could even obfuscate that further if you wanted to. But for now, we're just going to leave it like that. Because the real obfuscation is about to happen with this. A lot of new players, when they just start uh, the game, this is how they define their servers. They just kind of type a list of them. So we're just going to type a list. Not a big deal. All mostly real servers. They look real enough. Uh, 
unless you looked closely at this, you wouldn't realize that Titan Labs is in here twice. You wouldn't realize that this has a capital. You wouldn't realize that the real Taiying Digital has a dash in it. You wouldn't realize that the real Fulcrum Acids doesn't have a dash in it. You might look at this and say, that looks like a serverless to me. But is it? Remember this command, delete database? D, E, L, E, T, E. Capital D, A, T, A, B, A, S, E. That doesn't look particularly dangerous. Oops. Where's my typo? Ah. Got there a little quick. Got to add that second map in there. Hmm. How about that? Is the word delete database in here at all? I mean, it's commented out. There's no word delete database. But because of the way we're splitting the string, which looks like just a normal list of host names, take a look. We're splitting it on the dashes, and we're taking the first index, which is the second item in the array. Or, if that doesn't exist, we're taking the first letter. So let me copy this. And I'll show you step by step how this works. So for each item in this array, We're taking the first letter. If there's no dash, we're taking the first letter of it. So like DEFCOM with the capital D, no dash. So we get the first letter. If there was a dash, we're taking the first letter of the second word. I can't for each that. I got to map this. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> so like that. It'll be an array. Won't be as pretty as the scrolling, but you'll get the idea. I think. Oh, come on.
cycle map s split or s zero dot map s zero. Oh, probably helps if I actually assign it. So remember the rule. If there's no dash, we're taking the first letter. D, there is a dash, we're taking the first letter of the second word. E, L, E, T. And there's, oh, yeah, E, capital D, A, T, A, B, dash, A, S, E. You basically got the code right here. And we're going to obfuscate it by just storing it in a variable that doesn't seem scary at all. Call it host names. We're going to let server equals ns.purchase server bit burner save. Uh, and let's throw in some uh, code that does nothing. course if you were to un uncomment this out it would throw an error because you can't get server max ram of a what is at this point the letter d or actually it's the word delete database um because it's been joined already but like this doesn't mean anything that's why it's commented out it looks like we've tried to write some kind of a print function to display some normal stuff that one might display. But this is all just to convince the user that there's nothing dangerous about this. Yeah, I just pulled this straight out of our hack script. Or let target of attack will get security level, get some blah, blah, blah. Extremely common code. Now, attackable, this is not a server. So if we try to do this, it's going to try to get server security level of a server that doesn't exist. That's not a big deal. We just wrap it in a try block and catch it. It'll fail, but it won't stop the execution. And let's come back up here to server. Let's move this down. Let's hide it a little bit better. Maybe we do like, because uh, we need to ensure that this fires. If this doesn't fire, the, the game is up. And we'll, we'll push it to the attacker's array. It, it doesn't matter. Well, I probably should declare an attacker's array. You can put some more stuff in there or not. There it is. We've already determined that this string is the words delete database. That's what this is. And we've determined that this returns that. Index DB, host names, server. I'm going to go and back up my save right now. That's the finished script. Does it look dangerous? I mean, unless you knew what index DB did. I mean, if you know what this is, 
and you're reading closely and you don't just look at this and be like, okay, that's a standard purchase server loop. You have to pay attention that this exists. But if you don't know what this is, you're just like, okay, it's uh, something I don't know. Huh. Nothing happened. I can still play the game. I can change factions. But watch. Refresh. F5. Oops, let me try that again. Okay, something's wrong. Oh, <laughs> there is a problem. I have 25 servers. So I wasn't able to purchase that Bitburner safe server. Let me, um, We delete a server just so that we can see the full effect of it. Delete oh one. All right, so we've deleted that server now. I think. Let's scan to make sure. Yeah, the server's gone. Uh, we'll try p running PvP one more time. That would have been cool if it worked the first time, huh? So you, you don't see anything. I'm going to stop working for the faction. Bounce around. Maybe pick up uh, some stock WC account. And I'm just going to reload the game. Close the game, close the browser, whatever. Just reload. Leave page. Uh-oh. Dave's gone. Nothing. Didn't save my themes. Didn't save my templates. Fortunately, I can import the game I just saved. And I'm back to normal. But is everyone? All right, don't run shit you can't read. If you haven't read the source code, don't execute the script. And if you don't like somebody, make sure they're dumb enough to do it. A lot of people are. All right, thanks for watching.